Hello and welcome to JCU TV. We're here with Professor Daniel Roy Connolly this evening and British director and actor Douglas Dean. And they're here to talk about a very exciting project, an upcoming production of Harold Pinter's The Dumb Waiter. So, Douglas, can you please tell us what is this play about? Sure. The Dumb Waiter is a one act play written, as you say, by Harold Pinter. In the late 1950s, it was first produced in 1960, at least in the UK it was mm -hmm. first produced in 1960. It's about two men, Gus and Ben, who are waiting in a basement or a cellar. And we're not entirely sure what they're doing there, why they're waiting, and they kind of pass the time with seemingly banal conversations, but the conversations are loaded with subtext and double meanings. And then at a certain point, one or two things happen that make them realise that they're not actually there by themselves, which was what they had both assumed. And the play starts to unravel from there. I can't really say much more than that without giving you plot spoilers, but uh, it's uh, one of Pinter's early works. It's possibly the best of his early works. It's certainly, in my opinion, the best of his short plays. And um, we're very much looking forward to Getting to grips with it. Okay, very exciting. Professor Connolly, do tell. Now, having taken classes with you myself, I know you're a big Pinter fan, but why? Why did you choose to do this play? I am. I, I, uh, funnily enough, I, I've, um, I've wanted to work with Dougie for about five, since we worked together on Hedda Gabler, I think, uh, back in 2014. And I think I mentioned this play to Dougie. Uh, 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 back then, it's and it's taken a very long time to 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 come to be for us. I've directed Dougie on stage. He's directed me on stage. One thing we've never done is gone on stage together. Mm. And uh, the 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 dumb waiter. Uh, I don't know. They seem to be. You could look at it in terms of them being a couple of clowns, maybe as well. That traditional kind of Samuel Beckett style. Mm -hmm clowning around the, 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 the double team, you know what I mean, the duo. And um, as you say, I'm a big Pinter fan and, and uh, I've, I've, I've had my eye on this play for ooh, 10, 15 years, but my eye has been very much more focused on it in the last five years. And finally, I got this reprobate on board. Finally, I got this reprobate on board and I'm, uh, I'm really happy. I think it's, it seems to be going pretty well. Don't want to jinx it. It's actually described, it's interesting you mentioned clowns. Yeah. I read a, an early review of it which described it as a comedy of menace. So it's definitely got that Beckett thing yeah. going on where yeah. the two characters could be lifted straight from music hall yeah. with their quick repartee and their word play mm -hmm. and their double meanings. But at the same time, underneath all of that, there's a sense of drama and there's a sense of tension and there's a sense of paranoia. So it's, uh, it's fascinating for I, for the actors yeah. and the director to see where they're going to pitch their interpretation of the production. I've seen an, uh, an interpretation at a festival in Scotland at Edinburgh where they clearly went for the clowning aspect mm -hmm. and it was a very skilled production but I felt they maybe lost some of the tension. Mm. I've seen an Italian production where they were very powerful and very dramatic right from the beginning but you lost the humour. Mm -hmm. Hopefully what we're going to be able to do is find that middle road. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what I was thinking actually? I think it's a bit Brexity. Now I know everything's a bit Brexity. <laughs> no, no, I know everything's a bit Brexity at the moment, right? But in, in terms of like people being stuck not knowing what to do and there's kind of orders coming down that nobody quite understands and uh, that just for me that's a perfect metaphor for where Britain is right now I just wanted to throw that in everything's Brexit right now so why shouldn't the dumb way to be as well eh? okay well you've both officially piqued my curiosity I can't wait to see the play but when and where can people go to see the play when's it being put on where at? Okay, well, it's here in Rome. It's at a place called Teatro del Arciluto, or Teatro mm -hmm. Arciluto, as uh, a lot of the uh, Anglo Saxon and the expats call it. Um, it's a tiny little theatre, gorgeous space, very close to Piazza Navona. It's in Piazza mm -hmm. Montevecchio. And we're running towards the end of this month. So we've got uh, Thursday the 21st. We're missing the Friday, but then we're doing Saturday and Sunday the 22nd and 23rd. And there's two performances on each of those days. Okay. And then we're doing the same the following week. So we have Thursday the 28th, we're missing the Friday, 
and we have the 30th and 31st with two performances on each day. And as I said to earlier, it's um, it's just a one act play. It's 50, 55 minutes running time. It's quite short, very intense, um, fascinating piece of work. So I do urge people to uh, to book their tickets. The theatre is small and it does sell out. And we have had to turn people away before. So mm. please do get those tickets booked. It's a beautiful space as well, isn't it? The, uh, the afternoon mm. though. It's, for this it's, play it's, particularly. Oh, perfect for this. But it's such an iconic space anyway. Mm. It, it, it's such a treasure to be able to mm -hmm. act uh, down there, downstairs. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. so. And how can people get tickets? Okay, so you can book with the English Theatre of Rome, which is Rome is Rome Theatre at yahoo.com. Great. And the artistic director there is Gabby Ford. She'll respond or one of her interns will respond. Um, you can also check out our Facebook page, The Dumb Waiter, which is doing the rounds at the moment. So you can check that out. Um, we'll also be delivering flyers and that's got a couple of phone numbers that you can use. One of them is the theatre after 4 p.m. You can phone the theatre or you can uh, phone Gabby Ford. But email is or Facebook is probably the best way of doing it. Yeah. Or you can contact Daniel or myself. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Well. Pumped. That was Pumped. very exciting. Thank you for answering my questions. Yeah. You're welcome. And Brilliant. we're looking forward to seeing you guys on stage. Yeah. Thanks for checking out JCU TV, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. You.